Okay, this is the new spinal visualizer that was made specifically for We Care Chiropractic Clinic and Research Center by Continental X-ray Company from Chicago, Illinois. This machine is set in such a point that it has a magnifying tube back here which magnifies RMA factors to a point where we only have to use a quarter to five MAs to expose our patients. We can actually catch the spine in motion and it's specifically used for cervical readings to find out which vertebra has a posterior locking to him. Today we're going to scan the entire body of a young lady here and show you exactly how it works and just how little magnification and how little MA factors it takes to expose her entire spine. Now over here this is made like the continental vertebrae where we can move these arms in 100, 360 degree directions. We can move it all around in any direction that we'd like, like this. And of course, we can lower it, or we can bring it up to scan the entire spine. Now we're going to do a setting for you here, and then we'll let you know exactly how much KVP we used, and how much MA was used to do this particular patient. And we're going to scan this patient's body. We're going to start at the sacrum and work clear to the occiput. Put everything back to zero. We're scanning her body. She's actually being exposed at this minute. Now we'll stop the uh, scoping and do a cervical scan. Okay, I'm going to tilt this a little bit. I just want you to keep your head looking straight ahead. Keep your chin up a little. Step a little bit to your right. Okay, I'm going to have, have you open your mouth. Open your mouth as wide as you can. Okay, close it. Okay, when I tell you open your mouth, I'm going to show it as wide as you can and hold real still, okay? Okay, open your mouth, Kathy. Okay, tip your head back just a teeny weeny bit. Just keep your mouth open, I'm going to lower that a little. Okay, you want to close it for me and hold real still. Okay. Step forward about half an inch. Okay, now what I want you to do when I tell you, I want you to bend your chin to your chest like that as far as you can go. Go back up the center and then all the way back as far as you can go. And if you feel like you're going to sway it, I'll sort of stabilize your shoulder against here because you'll go right off the screen in there, okay? And start with your chin up. Look straight ahead and I'll tell you when, okay? Not too slow, not too fast. Hey, Kathy, you want to bend your chin to your chest for me? And as far as you can go? Back to center, and then all the way back, and back to center. Okay. This is a control panel for the visualizer. We actually have the main control switch here, and we have an automatic brightness control here, which actually will control our kilovolt peak. We will have a kilovolt peak of 150 kVp, and we have a control factor here for our MA. We have five factors. We have a quarter of an MA. B is a half of an MA. C is one MA. D 
D is 2MA, and if we happen to get an elephant in here to x -ray, then we have to use E, which is a 5MA factor. Now the control panel here, this is we use this to make our exposure. We can lower the machine, or we can raise it with this, and then we can cut down our actual viewing area to where we only have 2 inches of the spine. We are actually seeing 9 inches of the spine at a time. But it's a very, very low exposure factor, and we actually get to see the spine in motion. And by doing this, this is where we get to find out which vertebrae are locked. And it's been specifically used for upper cervical work, especially to find out the lock and posterior vertebra. And this has brought, brought around a lot of changes in our thinking on chiropractic today. As we expose the patient, we actually see the vision of their spine here, and we can actually see their spine in motion. At the same time, we're reporting it on this tape, and this will give us a playback. We can stop it at any time, we can reverse it, or we can pause it to see an actual subluxation. When we see the spine in motion, we tape all this, and then we have it in previous uh, cases. We can go back and take our post and compare the pre and post examination of any individual patient. We have a complete callback system and we store the tapes and we keep track of all the numbers of each patient.